So, everyone, our lesson for today is Passable Entrance Exam Questions on Compound Inequalities. Question, what is the solution set of 5x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 2 and less than or equal to 7? Letter A, x greater than or equal to 1. Letter B, x is less than or equal to 2. Letter C, x is greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 2. Or letter D, x is greater than or equal to 1. Union, x is less than or equal to 2. Okay, how do you solve this? Now, you can... Um, separate this into two simple inequalities. One is that 5x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 2 and 5x minus 3 is less than or equal to 7. There. And then solve for x. 5x is greater than or equal to 2 transpose negative 3 plus 3. Repeat. You transpose negative 3 to the other side. It becomes positive 3. So 5x is greater than or equal to 5. There. To isolate x, divide this by 5. And also divide this by 5. Both sides, in other words, divide it by 5. You cancel 5. You're left with x is greater than or equal to 1. Intersection. Solve for x again here on this side. There. You transpose negative 3 to the other side. So it becomes positive 3. So here, 5x is less than or equal to 10. Divide both sides by 5. There. So you can now cancel x here, a uh, 5, cancel 5 rather here, x is less than or equal to 2. Now, in this case, for you to get the intersection, you can graph each inequality. Graph x is greater than or equal to 1. So if this is 0 and this is 1, greater than or equal to 1. x is greater than or equal to 1. So you put a shaded circle here and make a ray pointing to the right side because the numbers which are greater than or equal to 1 are on the right side. Also graph x is less than or equal to 2. So if this is 2, less than or equal to 2 will be from 2 and all the numbers going to the left. But we want the intersection, so the intersection will be the one at the middle. What is this? This is now denoted by x is greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 2. So this is our final answer. As you can see, the two graphs overlap from 1 to 2. So you write there, x is greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 2. Now, you can also have a shortcut here. How do we do the shortcut? So if we have here, 5x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 2 and less than or equal to 7, for a shortcut, you want to remove negative 3 here, so you add 3 on all sides. Add 3 at the middle, add 3 to the right, and add 3 to the left. So this will now be giving you a 5x, which is greater than or equal to 2 plus 3 is 5, and less than or equal to 7 plus 3 is 10. Then, you can now isolate x here by dividing 5 to all sides there. So this will give you x is greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 2. So 
you can see now that your answer here is equal to your answer there. So we can call this the short method or the shortcut method. I prepared here some exercises for you. You solve for the solution set. I already gave you the answers on the right side so that you can compare after solving the exercises if your answers are correct. Remember, math is a skill subject. You really have to do as many exercises as possible. Before we end, you always have to remember to add kindness, subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Don't forget to click the bell button and subscribe. Thank you.